Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here, end up enjoying today's content, all I can ask you to do is go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and also you can follow me on all social medias at BladeMist, and you will be notified whenever I do end up uploading a video if you do miss out on the YouTube notifications. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but I want to start off by saying this game right here was a great game. It was literally a game where I just couldn't get a hit for the life of me. He got that solo shot on a hanger that we threw to Jason Giambi. The pitch was not supposed to be up in the zone, but unfortunately it was. Now, this was our game to get 10 wins. And then clearly after that would be our game to get 11 wins. So I'll spoil this right now. We win this game and we win the next one too. But the reason why I'm telling you guys this ahead of time is because I have a story about our game to win the diamond, JD Martinez. Now, unfortunately, we ended up choking. And let me give everybody some advice when you do battle royale. So, we face somebody that without a doubt, I should have demolished at least eight to zero. But, it was around, I want to say, 3 o'clock in the morning or so. And I was feeling a little sleepy. So I said, you know what? We're 11 and 1. Let me decide to take a little bit of a break. If I'm not sleepy at all, I'll hop back on. And I'll try to go ahead and get this 12 win diamond. Or I'll do it the next day. So I took an hour break. It was like 4.30 in the morning. And I said, you know what? I'm still not sleepy or I'm not falling asleep, let's hop back on and actually try to win this 12 win. And let me tell you that I logged on and I played the game for our 12 win diamond. And I was winning one to zero in the second inning. It went to the bottom of the second inning. We're playing in Yankee Stadium. He has runners on second and third with one out. He hits a pop-up to the first baseman, Steve Pierce. I catch the pop-up. And I put the controller down and I was rubbing my face with my hands and he stole home on me. It was like a sack fly pop up to the first baseman because I put the controller down and rubbed my face. If I would have never done that, I would have gunned him out at home and I would have 100% won the game in the third inning because he just couldn't hit. He ended up actually walking it off on me on late jam back to back doubles. So humongous piece of advice one if you're hot continue playing if you're 11 and 1 and you're hot don't say hey I'm gonna take a break and then hop back on continue playing because if you don't continue playing the same thing that happened to me might happen to you number two don't ever underestimate your opponent in terms of thinking that they won't try to do the craziest finesse in the world that does not happen in the major leagues always have your eye on the screen. I never in a million years would have expected somebody to literally try to take home on a pop-up to first base. I don't know even why he would think that was possible, but he did it. And I was just like, holy cow, what are the chances that I take my hands or eyes away from the screen and he does it? It was like the craziest miracle. It was meant to be. But anyways, stay tuned because we got a lot more bangers coming.